Oh my god, it's so good. This is probably the greatest WoW series I've maybe ever seen. Gentlemen, yesterday we watched a very big video. We watched a massive fucking video. Today we return and we're going to watch the end of the line. Barney's new video. It is fucking time. Who's ready? Let's go. Turn it down a little bit. The wait is over, yep. All right, let's do it. Goof Troop, I remember them from the old video. Holy shit. I hope that Barney actually gets Scarabord. I really do. I hope it happens because it is the ultimate story of triumph. Here we go. End of the line. You know, honestly, I don't know why I made the intro so melancholic. I mean, sure, I don't get Scarab Lord, but this is a joyous occasion, no? Two videos one year? Imagine wow. that. Who saw that coming? Now, don't ask me for anything ever again. Oh, and just real quick, the reason this says 7 out of 32 quest complete, even though I left you on 3 out of 32, is because I added 4 to the total that I finished later that don't have, like, a standard hand in. I just figured it would be easier to do it now because if I do it later, you guys might be like, wait, the number has gone up, but no quest was complete. Anyway, with that said, the video's starting. Oh, wait, that means I have to edit a transition. Or play Dota. Welcome to the final episode. All it right, is the let's see it. 19th of August, 2020, 2:12. Volume up. Okay. We join yours truly, approaching the caverns of time outside of which Adronos is waiting patiently to speak with us. Now that I have secured my reputation as the greatest bug slayer of all time, wow. Adronos is finally willing to stop being a child and talk to me. Like, do you not know who I am? I'm the main <laughs> character of Grobulus. I literally grinded through 11 bug farms. This guy should be the sucking main my character of the to server. I like that. Of me, though. Anachronos tells me I am the hope of Kalimdor, and then wow. graciously offers me a terrible ring to aid in my travel. Amazing. If there was ever any question that this game's design has always been malicious, uh, this quest proves it. Wow, yeah. did you just beat the most insane grind we've ever put in the game? Nice. Here's, here's your downgrade, dickhead. Quest. Yeah, here's a ring that's worse than what you got in Molten Core. Please. Next up, Anachrono says, hey, you know that red stone you keep ominously including in all your cinematics? Mm -hmm. Go check it out. So we go check it out, and that's when we get okay. the lore dump I explained in episode one. You guys remember that, right? With the bugs and the dragons and the useless arch oh, yeah. smashing the scepter oh, so no yeah. one can open the gates ever again. Those were yeah. the good days. Quest complete. I was then summoned back to Anachronos, and this is the point in the quest line where it's revealed we need to be the ones to find those gems and rebuild that scepter. Because Anachronos is too depressed to do it himself or something... Same. The whereabouts of the gem. I don't know why we had to do it for him either. I didn't read that part of the quest. I did this back in Wrath of the Lich King before this it got is, removed. This of course, a complete mystery. Even though Anachronos appointed a guardian for each gem after the Archdruid had his little Joker moment. The Ferian, uh, actually, that was a mistake. I guess that wasn't his Joker moment. His Joker moment was probably when he joined Ragnaros in Cataclysm, huh? That guy that was, was just so an asshole. That's so shocking to me, too. Like... <laughs> Ragnos wanted this guy as his right hand man. Yeah. This guy? I mean, I know Executor set the bar low, but this guy did. He just took L's non stop for like a thousand years. That's like He's his a loser. Even his gimmick achievement is harder than his encounter. I'm getting sidetracked. Each gem was appointed a guardian that actually for, is for true. one reason or another. Every single yeah. guardian has abandoned their true. duty. But I've played Dark Souls 3, so I, I already know how this one goes. We are told to prepare for the worst, and we are sent on our way. All right. Quest complete. So this is the part where the quest line breaks into three separate threads. Each mm -hmm. thread follows the search for one of the three Different gems, and these can be done in any order. If you collect yep. all three gems, you can bring them to Anachronos, and he will use them to craft the Scepter of the Sif- 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 Fuck this- <laughs> the last episode just get through it if you get the scepter you get the mount okay but because this quest line is really lovely you could do it in any order it's so wacky to prevent any confusion on your part you can check the title card of each section to know which <laughs> quest line we're currently progressing you can also see how many total oh my quests god completed this shit was so complicated so open come spoon feeding you the content oh my god I'm also just taking the time now to let you know that we have entered full chronological 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 
chronological storytelling, bitch. What the fuck? The rest of this video takes place chronologically over 29 hours, which is now 28 hours. <laughs> It's not looking good. But you oh. want to know what is looking good? The Barney Beekeeper plushie. Wow. Wow. I designed it myself. Wait, The real what? magnetizable hands let you replace the weapons with actual knives. Uh, my lawyers have told me to inform you that that was a joke. Please do not replace the weapons with actual knives. Oh my so god. Absolutely Brenda, your entire life. We can actually get one of those? With one touch of the I might get one. That's oh, awesome. No. I've corrupted my hard drive. As with Jesus. any plushie, you can put it on your desk, your bed, or even in the corner of your room. Yeah, Safe that is really cool. It will stay exactly where you left it. Any reports that the Barney Beekeeper mm -hmm. plushie is actually alive have been greatly exaggerated. Of course. He's undead. <laughs> Fuck it. Mask on. No, they'll never know it was me. When they said, hey, this uh -huh. is too much for one plush, I said, shut the fuck up. I wanted to have a hood as well. <laughs> hood now included. As it turns out, spending three years making the best World of Warcraft video series on the platform mm -hmm. isn't the most financially responsible thing you can do. Which is why you're all going to buy the plush so it was worth it, right? Right? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Just kidding, guys. Only buy the plush if you like it. But I should tell you, if we don't sell out, I'm never uploading again. The beekeeper.shop. A link in the description. <laughs> So this is the plush is a real thing then. As Shara, named after the night elf queen who did the thing, you'd think yeah. this zone would present she really endgame challenges stuff worthy up. of its namesake, but actually it's pretty fucking dead. But that's because yeah. as Shara was never intended as a questing zone to begin with, it was this meant to be, a to be battle Dota. Room? Don't believe me? Yeah. I'm about to blow your mind. Originally designed as an instant yep. battleground, as Shara we had three video, lanes, I remember two this. large jungles, and a river this running down crazy. the middle. Does this sound familiar? It's implied right. that the two teams Yo, thanks, would Cody. advance on each that. other. Thank until you, thank you, one base fell. But it must have been really thank fucking boring much. because it was scrapped super close to release and now as Shara exists, like this. Now, I don't blame Blizzard for scrapping their Dota Battleground. They never did quite figure out that three lane no, gameplay. No, they but I never figured it out that well. nothing with the zone in 12 years. Remember the big cannon? I don't think they Blizzard said we were going to be able anyway, to shoot. we're here to talk to this big dragon. This is Azugos. Hi, I'm Azugos. You might remember and him from closing the, the gates 1,000 years ago. But what you might not know about Azugos is that he is the blue dragonfly Oh, wait, hold on. He is the Blue Dragon Flight's Trinket Keeper, which basically what? means he's every Blue Dragon's bank hole. And he fucking hates it. He despises <laughs> the fact that whilst every other Blue Drake is off in the I Nexus banging Mana straight from the source, having the sickest parties of all time, he's stuck yeah, in fucking true. Azshara. Dead zone, no bitches, guarding other people's stuff from dickheads like me. Yeah, they got rid of them in, like, Cataclysm, And Kronos gave the Blue Scepter Gem to the Blue Dragon Flight to keep safe forever. So what that actually meant was Azhagos was given the Blue Scepter Gem to keep safe safe forever. And just like any dragon who is guarding a one-of-a-kind gem, Azhagos would mm -hmm. be targeted by more treasure hunters than ever before. And yeah. Azhagos was pissed. 500 years Yeah, we later. killed him a few fucking times. I don't need a wife. My job fucks me. <laughs> At this point, Azhagos had lost count of the amount of attempts made on his okay. life because of this damn gem. And just like with literally any Blizzard character, if you give them enough time, he became unhinged. And then he fed the blue scepter gem to a fan. You know, now that I feel... Wait. Oh, yeah! That actually, this, by the way, is not an exaggeration. This is actually what happened in the story. Present day. I cannot take five steps without some crazed orc or human trying to thrust a sharp stick into my hide. Looks like life didn't get yep. any better for Azhagos after all. That'll have to wait until Cataclysm when he enters into a romantic relationship with a spirit healer. Real, actual law, by the way. So now we know the fate of the blue gem, one of the trillion what? and fish healer. We'll have to wait until Cataclysm when what? he enters into a romantic relationship with a spirit healer. Real, actual Oh my god. Lore, uh, so I way. didn't know so that. Now we know the fate of the blue uh, I, gem. I never One fucking knew that. Wow. Fish in the sea ate it. Also, because he's currently this in his dude's wacky, fucking ghost. unhinged, edgy, it's not a phase. Phase. Mm -hmm. Azhagos enchanted that same fish with arcane properties okay. for the lols in the hope it would become a giant just sea monster fun. who terrorizes fishermen. So just However, to do he it. does throw us a bone and tells us that if we make a Baba Boy out of arcanite, the mm -hmm. arcane properties of that metal should attract the fish, which is probably not a fish anymore, but some kind of sea terror. Azhagos gives us a ledger to take to a contact of his oh in Tanaris, whom he describes as They're... a terrible, terrible psychic, the but an amazing gnome. engineer. With any luck, perhaps this guy can help us out. I and remember if not, this. well, that sucks yeah. because Azhagos is done talking to us. I said good day, sir! I fucking hate these <laughs> dragons. Well, time to head to Tanaris and find this engineer. Or rather, time to wait for my summon crew to summon me right there, huh? Gaming. Mm -hmm. Handing over the blueprints to the engineer. See, that's, that's power gaming right there. That's using, that's being the main character of the server, okay, guys? 
complete, we ask him if he can make the Arcanite Bubba Booey, to which he responds, yes. Can't even read this shit, bro, it's in Draconic. <laughs> Another funny little oh, prank no. from our friend Azragos, who, by the way, according dummies. to the quest dialogue, knows the engineer can't read Draconic, oh, which means he did this shit on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I am laughing, lord. I'm gonna kill Azragos. Even though he can't read- This, by the way, is the best questline Blizzard's ever made. Draconic. The engineer says he's willing to give it a shot anyway. Yep. He'll just need a couple of items beforehand. The first item he needs is a Draconic translation guide, which is a completely reasonable ask. The second yep, thing sure. he needs are his reading goggles that That's his ex BFF easy. stole from him. No problem. Sure, at all. whatever. He needs them to read. And Absolutely. the third thing he needs is a 500 pound chicken. Okay, this fucking guy. Oh According yeah. To his, pondering <laughs> orb, his ex BFF is either hiding just outside of Gilneas Fat yeah. into Furries, or somewhere in Outland being Forgot pursued by the Burning that. Legion. Luckily for me, we don't need to wait until TBC to find him. Quest complete. Mm -hmm. But we will need to wait to find those goggles because uh, uh -huh. he dropped them in Molten Core. It is at this point I realized had I not left that Peace Bloom DKP earlier on in the week, oh I would have been God, locked in I Molten forgot all about and that. unable to even attempt this part of the quest. So thank you Dawnbreakers for hosting a scam DKP and being so unnecessarily hostile when questioned about it. Without you, none of this is possible. But we're gonna need- I feel like I've never been in a DKP raid that wasn't a scam. Like, every single one that I was ever in, including the ones that I was leading, they were all scams. Every single one. To put a pin in that because uh, I'm leaving this raid group and joining. It's like, oh, it's a rounding Why? error. Because it's oh, almost it's 7 p.m., which means the winter court is raiding error. Blackwing Lair. Among the three shards, yeah. the red shard is by far the easiest to obtain, as it was given to Nefarian, and I literally kick the shit out of this guy every week. But as I mentioned no last problem. episode, the Easy overwhelming enough. majority of my guild are already locked to every raid after helping secure 10 Scarab Lords. If I wanted to oh attempt the God. segments of the questline that take place within raids, I would have to, and this is Pug literally my guild catchphrase. Figure it out! 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 And so I figured it out. In fact, I figured it out ahead of time. I'm tell you guys like i've tried to do a bwl pug on monday night Whew. That, that's something let me tell you that really is something because I'm always numbers steps ahead. Yesterday, mm -hmm. when I was still farming bugs, I was also reaching out to pretty much every guild and GDK yeah, on course. the server who I knew was raiding tomorrow to see if anyone could fit me into a Blackwing Lair run. I received Makes only sense. two responses back and thus was given a choice. Not between two guilds per se, but between two different risks. You see, the Red Shard only drops from Nefarian if you beat Blackwing Lair within five hours of starting So you have to have a good encounter. group. If you fail, you actually get a bad ending letter sent to your mailbox from Nefarian Wait, Really? Where he basically just flames you for being too slow. It's wow. pretty funny and I didn't even know that to be honest. But therein lay the first. We, we never risk, failed a ours. Proclaimed casual guild that doesn't require world buffs or even consumes to raid. As someone who is used to sweaty, pathetically optimized, no fun allowed, clear comms, sub one hour speedruns, I was no doubt hesitant to accept that offer. And then there was the second guild, a self-proclaimed hardcore guild who had the rep and logs to back it up. Clearing mm -hmm. in time wasn't up for debate, so why did I hesitate to say yes? Well, I made the a guild lot of enemies. Suck. During my time yeah. in the desert, and how strange they are now inviting me to BWL. Hmm. Now, what would I do if I was there? Because if, if it, w what you would do is you would fucking get him locked to the first boss, and then as soon as that shit is over, then just immediately kick them out of the raid. That's what I would do. Like I, I would, I would get the person locked and then kick them out immediately, fucking after. Invite me for my first boss kill, then kick Pulling me that once bullshit I was saved on me. for the raid, thereby failing my quest, locking me out of BWL for the week, and ruining Scarab Lord for me? Yes. I mean, it's objectively funny, and they yes, might have is. gotten away with it too if I wasn't numbers steps ahead. But if it's one yep. thing I can just never say no to, it's the chaos of a cursed casual run. Oh no. Oh no, they're really gonna- They're really gonna try that. Oh no. Welcome to Blackwing Lab. Speedrun edition. Right away, this was already the most unique run of BWL I had oh, ever no. been to. Instead of being Warlock summoned inside a wall like a sweaty geek this and is zoning not in for good. free, we had actually met up in-game as a raid group, oh, like, wow. socially, and cinematically approached BRM from the rear. This wow, was just like the old days. Because I'm a rogue, and we like it from behind. Oh, I've heard from about behind? that. So this is the first boss, Razorgore the Untamed, which I'm guessing is an ironic name because we'll be using this Orb of Domination to force to him to murder his to own children. Him. That's yes. pretty fucked up, but completely necessary. Because his mortality is tied to the eggs. If we were to just- That is really kind of crazy whenever you think about it. You're mind controlling him to kill his own eggs? That's fucked up.
Erg, Razorgore, and kill him, the eggs would explode upon his death, dealing massive damage and killing everyone. Mm -hmm. So you kill ads, kill the eggs, and then you kill the boss. Are you picking Easy up what enough. I'm putting down, bitch? <laughs> but guys, I won't lie, this raid is really scaring me. They're cracking jokes on the mic, and they're not clearing comms. And oh. worst of all, I think they're having- it sounds like they're having- Are we supposed to play yet. day now? Fun? No. I feel like it's so funny to me that Tips hasn't streamed in like two years, and clear comms is still one of the biggest memes in Classic WoW. No one follow me. No one move. No one follow no one me. Move. Get away from Stop. that door. Next up, I and I alone have to enter the second room and speak with Veilstrass to start the Red Shard quest. Yeah, that's the easy. Five hour timer starts now. A wise man Ooh. once said the purest essence of WoW's gameplay is standing and hitting. Where's if the that world is buffs? to be true, then Veilstrass is the most World of Wait. Warcraft fight World of Warcraft has to offer. Because that was wow, I'm doing a lot of standing, and with a buff that doubles your damage, you're gonna do a lot of hitting too. Yes. What's especially great about Veilstrass is that the double Double damage buff carries over to the next couple you of trash You can use it for the trash, yep. Making the journey to the suppression room that bit faster. And believe me, you'll be thankful for it because this is the part where the raid slows to a grinding... This is the worst part of all classic. Oh. Welcome to the this suppression room. Designed trash. by Satan in hell, this room features numerous Sucks traps which slow big you dicks. by 90%. These traps can only be disarmed by rogues. Yeah, the, depression <laughs> the time room. you disarm you them for is random with no tell. <laughs> and whelplings yeah. constantly spawn around each trap. <laughs> and that's just cool. the stage hazard. Because a little yes, bit of fun, you right? have to manage those traps, there are also fun. trash mobs you have to clear on the way through. But I don't get to do damage because I, I got fucking hate the raid this, through. Man. It is a tedious, completely unfun awful. shit show of a section that spoils the pacing in what is an otherwise A tier Raid, yeah, Black Wing Layer was awesome. The next boss, Broodlord Lash Layer, is a completely brain off tank and spank. You just stand and hit. It's classic mm -hmm. WoW. If you die to this boss, you're a complete fucking noob. You just stand and hit. It's classic WoW. If you die to this boss, you're a complete fucking noob. True, Nobody true, died. so true. So Roll on yeah, the head if you're on the done. quest line. Wait, I thought Barney was All getting DPS it for sure. It's gonna be on Skull and X, except for one mage, and the mage will tank the text because we don't use sappers in this guild because we're incredibly Wait. casual. Wait, I think I might throw up. After pulling four packs of techies with no sappers, we were ready to engage the hard Oh no, you don't the need the head. That's Fire right, that's more. right, I forgot. Fire you already had it. Fire yeah, more, I, I got confused. All definitions is objectively okay. a well-designed fight, fulfilling literally every class fantasy in one encounter. The tanks get to be slapped around and boiled alive for the duration of the fight. Yeah, Melee really get to fun. risk their lives trying to pass, gambling on stack resist so as to avoid downtime moving out, and range get to stand back and safely press their one button. And it sounds so easy, right? Bunch of stacks, guys. Bunch of your six. It is so easy, but it's the hardest boss in the dungeon. If you can beat Fire Maw, you can beat any boss in Classic WoW. Fire Maw is the hardest boss probably in all of Classic WoW. Careful. Oh, I'm down. You would be mistaken. Also, because this is Horde gameplay, you really gotta watch that threat. What, what do I oh no. That's not good. Oh no. Yeah, alright. This yep. is the first time I've ever seen Yep, that's a good old fashioned Monday night, Monday night BWL. We're just having a little bit of fun, wiping on the boss again. Just the a good, just I good old days. I blame Barney, honestly. Just die now, no. just die now. <laughs> so anyway, we've got five hours, and, you know, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rez up, rust off, cape on, bait on, cap on. Oh, this God. doesn't usually hap on. Let's try this again. Yes, it and does. On this pull, the Shut court up. Yes, it does. Their name because this pull it was fucking frosty. Look, mum. I'm pumping. We then pull the rest of the techies, with no sappers, and I go over to this table to pick up this book, which is actually chapter 7 of Draconic for Dummies. Yep. I'll need to collect chapters 1 through 8 in order to make a complete book for the engineer, which I'm now re- God, dude, like, I just, I, I think back on the tale of high adventure that this quest really gave you. Like, this quest, in my opinion, I feel like this is what this is the this is the apex pinnacle of of human existence was this quest in World of Warcraft Classic. It was so good. And you had to kill a chicken. Realizing in the moment, hold on, I don't even know that in character yet. Hold on, I haven't even picked up the quest that allows me to loot chapters. Yeah, uh -oh. what the fuck is that? Um give me Wait, what? Give me one sec. Can I get a Oh my god, he didn't get the quest. Oh my god. 
<laughs> it is at this point I turn Questy oh on and reload God. my UI. When I load back in, I am it's dead. So, so I figure, fuck it, death warp. It is a speed run after all. We'll it's so fucking dumb, he man. Back on the quest, we won't pull another boss. Shouldn't take that long. The Guys, we're not going to make it. My summon team then summons me to a remote island off the southern coast of Tsenaris, where the engineer supposedly buried a copy oh, of Draconic yeah. for dummies some years ago. When we dig up the book, quest complete. So, like, what you had to do is you would have to sail out to an island. You know, like, in Lost Ark, where you can go off the map and find, like, special little areas? So, in uh, in WoW, there was, like, one island at the very bottom of Tsenaris, and you had, to, you had to swim off of the island and, and do that. So, they had, to, they had to summon her out there so she could get that one and then after that then you can get all the different pages because i remember doing this again it was one of the best fucking experiences but it was very fucking frustrated it, was very it actually turns out to be a ransom note addressed to the engineer. I figure the fastest way back to the engineer is to unstuck to the Gadget Sand graveyard That's a smart and then idea, walk actually. north. Instead, Blizzard's patented "Go fuck yourself unstuck" Westfall. technology actually teleports me to Kargath, and my summon team have already hearthed to Silithus. What? So I get a summon to Silithus, fly to Tanan, hand over the ransom note, quest complete, oh, and wow. then pick up the next quest. And this is where I realize in the footage, actually, I didn't even need to go on this tangent at all, and it will make sense. Wait, really? Later, this Why? has just been a certified idiot moment, but in I fairness to, to me, that. I had not slept in like 20 something hours. If I got a little latency in the brain, you know why. Also, I literally traveled through time. We now return to Blackwing Lair. Okay, I'm back in the raid. Summon me because I'm bougie, though. Ooh, and the okay. trash has been cleared in my absence? All according to plan. Now, if I was to tell you that the next two encounters, Ebon Rock and Flame Gore, involve a lot of standing and a lot of hitting, would you think This is the- it is literally the easiest fucking- these are the easiest fucking bosses in general. Uh, some other chat being trash. Yeah, look, guys, can we not do this again today? Like, holy fuck, can we just not do it? Like- Nobody, nobody gives a shit. Like, can we just please not fucking do this shit? Like, yes, Barney is trans. Like, there's a male character, so sometimes I accidentally say he, because I'm looking at the character. Listen, I don't care about what your opinion about it is. I don't give a fuck. Please, please. I just don't, like, literally nobody cares about what your take on people being trans is. Just fucking move on, guys. Barney's not a, a guy, and Barney's not a girl either. Barney's a rogue. What's th that's the best fucking thing about video games is the fact that Barney is a rogue. Shut the fuck up. Enjoy the story. Me for jumping. Oh, that's too far. Man, partial wipe to trash. That's harder than the buses. What a walk baby. That. How much longer do we have, Barnaby? Um, we Give got me. like mm -hmm. an hour, like two hours, so we're fine. I mean, uh, we're not gonna make it. The next boss, mm -hmm. Chromagus, is basically another one of those run-in, run-out fights. The only difference with this one is that there are random debuffs that will infect random players at random intervals. Four yep. of the five of these debuffs are completely negligible, though, and don't really require a second thought since they'll just be purged off you. But if you are unlucky enough to receive the fifth debuff, the Bronze Affliction, you, you just use the sand. Yeah, it's the sand. It's in time. There is only one known cure, and it is eating magic sand. But I'm trying to kick the stuff, you know, so I'm, I'm a okay to sit through the 10 minute deal oh why would okay well that's good i mean one little bite can't hurt right i mean <laughs> oh no i gotta stop eating sand do and you remember whenever they said at the beginning of the first video don't eat the sand oh no Oh god, oh god, here we go. The Nefarian fight. Will this self-proclaimed casual guild see me through to a this red shard? This is not good at all. Will this be where my Scarab Lord tale ends? Well, the main hero Sand of the raid did just yeah, find clearly. out that if you right-click Benediction, it turns into Anathema. Time me for it. something weird to my Benediction. So I'd say we're off to a good start. So okay. So right-click it again in your inventory. This this is incredible. No, oh, it's oh, not a half hour. Cool. Wait, she doesn't- Bro, I told you guys, like, Classic players, as I said, big, slow, hairy, stupid, woolly mammoths, and they're going extinct. Ooh. 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 That's what it's like, right there. Hey. Guys, we're not gonna make it! So, with that said, Barnaby, this is your thing, so why don't you go talk uh -huh. to your boy? Oh, okay.
Of course, no final boss of any raid would be complete yeah. without the arbitrary minutes of killing ads before the main guy even shows up, but this phase is incredibly simple and is definitely not caused to freak out. So I have no idea why the people in Discord were freaking out so much. In fact, was it was it Tips raid that was wiping in phase one of BWL? Like, I remember seeing a video of a guild just becoming absolutely overwhelmed and overrun by these mobs. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. If they were freaking out so much, I heard my first clear comms of the entire raid. And when the casual <laughs> guild says clear comms, uh, that's when you know things are bad. For those that don't oh, know no. this fight, once you kill 40 adds, Nefarian descends upon the raid and yep. covers the entire floor in fire. And if you're not wearing your Anixia cloak, you the die. fire will kill you in one shot. So tell me why the five minutes we spent doing loot prior to pulling the boss was not enough time for over half the raid to equip their Anixia cloaks? We're not gonna oh. make it. No, a lot of people have cloaks on. I, I do not as well. Get behind the throne! Now, you can stand behind yeah. the throne when the fire goes out and this will avoid being hit, but it's generally considered rat behavior because you lose a bunch of uptime. Thankfully though, we managed to get through the fire and the flames with zero casualties. Nefarian now lands, someone rips aggro, and I die for their fucking sins. Why don't you have battle shout? Holy shit! What is this? What is this run? <laughs> Yeah, we actually might not. <laughs> what started off as a sarcastic little joke no was now way. beginning to sound like my actual fate. Every time you wipe to Nefarian, you have to wait around 15 minutes for him to respawn. And as you know, I'm kind of on the clock here, so... Uh... Dude, if we don't make it, I will get Barney B tattooed on my knuckles. Perfect. <laughs> well, oh now the stakes God. have never been higher. Or there's never been a better time to oh throw this no. shit. Depending on who you're asking, of course. Me, what personally, I kind of want the mount. But in any other timeline, design? he was getting those knuckle tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, time's up. Let's do this. Barney <laughs> Fiki for... Please put your cloaks on. Please put your... So we start the second okay. pull. This time, everyone in the raid is prepared with their Oni cloaks, and we breeze through phase easy, one. Yeah. The tank is also generously Great. given the two seconds okay, required to take aggro Problem with the boss, solved. so things are actually looking good. Now, let's talk about Nefarian's main mechanic. Every so often, Nefarian will target a specific class and do what's called a class call. This is... Bro, a can I just come back real quick? I just want to go back real quick. Look how good the numbers look in Classic WoW. It is like busting a nut on your screen whenever you do a special attack and your auto attacks crit at the same time. Look Every at that. so often, Nefarian Ooh. will target a specific class and do what's called a class Ooh. call. This is essentially some Look kind of no. debuff Look or at Joker's numbers. trick targeted at one Beautiful. specific class. And depending on your class, these can range from being the most minor inconvenience conceivable to being capable of causing the breakdown of the entire raid and a potential wipe. Yes. In the case of rogues, you get teleported in front of Nefarian and cannot move. You if just the tank doesn't react fast enough, this happens. And you oh, want to know the best yeah. part about this? There's literally zero counterplay on my part. Wow. <laughs> I can't do Amazing. anything about this. <laughs> I love when mechanics don't Fun test game. the individual player ability and instead put your hands in the life of some other fucking schmuck. I'm actually uh -huh. not mad. I mean, okay, half the raid is dead, but this the ferry is so easy. Kill. You can still We just kill have it. to play perfect and get really lucky on the next couple Why of Why are you behind the boss? Happen. Why are you oh, behind? Oh. Nice. Nice we're gonna make it. Keep him up. New class call coming. He if can do warrior, it. We're gonna be fucked. He can do it. He's got the shield. So. He can easily tank uh -oh. the fairy. Now, you guys want to know what's worse than one warrior call? Oh, I'll get to that in just it's a It's so easy. Because first, got to tell you that if we get this boss to 20%, all the adds that we killed in phase one, mm -hmm. all 40 of them, respawn at the same time and charge the raid. So now let it's me return easy. to my original question. What's worse than one warrior call? That's right. Two warrior calls, but there the second one happening during the final ad phase. Bro, and now I actually thought the warrior call was my favorite one because it gave me an excuse to go into berserker stance while taking Tanking the boss. I think I'm just gonna let this clip play out because it is so so difficult to make raiding sound interesting. Oh, you're, you're, you're is right there. No, I got him. Yep. Go oh, God, do you have shield wall? Use it. No. Use shield wall. Okay. Use a right, stone Marty. shield. There you go, bud. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Fire. There Jesus it is. <laughs> wow. Ten minute Don't fight. Sure. That was somebody in chat says that was what? tough. Remember how earlier I left the raid oh, and joined another tough. party to get summoned oh. to Tenaris? Well, Psych. actually that did nothing. I just love faking you guys out. It's just yeah. so easy every time. And you're thinking, I can't keep getting away with it. Oh, I will. You're already in my web and you don't even know it yet. Wow, red shard acquired. Right, you ready? Three, what? two, one. Wow. Whoa, look at that. 
I love how everybody, every guild that raided in Classic WoW has a screenshot that looks just like that. I think that's so cool. So now we're back yeah, on the engineer's what, we had line. If you'll remember, we are currently looking for the three items he needs to try and make the Arcanite Bubba yeah. But as we found out earlier, his copy of Draconic for Dummies has been stolen, and a ransom note was left in its place. We've got your book, gnome. If you ever want to see Bitch. it again, you'll do exactly as we ask. So alongside Bon Hoovy, Sarsis, <laughs> Merrells, and Darian, we head to the location detailed within the ransom note, and disguised as the engineer, I place a big bag of fake gold at the edge of a cliff. A few anxieties- Bro, like, no shit, this- like y'all see, riddled minutes this, later, this one mob is really hard to kill. Comes flying in on a flying machine. Look at but this. For real, why did they make it take five minutes for this guy to spawn in? The whole time we were waiting, I thought I fucked the quest up. I, I swear, did too. Every single quest in this quest line is specifically tailored to fuck with your mental. Anyway, the yes, doctor takes is. one look at our disguise and sees right through it. Who could have seen it's this? Doctor Weevil. He then summons a giant gorilla to kill us and escapes in his flying this machine. This gorilla is no joke. Rush and evasion and this is a big dick gorilla. Too. I figure with a healer, I can probably tank this no, for the duration you can't. of. My evasion and then vanish the threat off to the warrior. Unfortunately for me, Blizzard's patented, it really emulates early 2000s internet. Spell banishing yeah. technology meant that I actually didn't cast vanish at all. I lay Surprise. dead in the snow like the pathetic little gnome bitch I am as my team once again carries me to victory. If you'll remember, Merrells was the mage who helped me get my mallet of Zolfarak all those oh months ago. God. And here I am yet again with my content beholden to his kindness. A year I later. I couldn't do this without my friends. However, because Bon Hoovy is a dream he is useless and isn't carrying resurrection materials. He is instead going oh to leave God. it up to chance with cables, as will Merrells and Darian. Well, oh I think we God. know how this one goes. Yep. That's well, a that's an L. Here, right? That's an L. Don't do We've got one this, more. Please. Thank God. I'm there up. it is. Merrells then opens a portal Easy. to bluff for me, and I fly to the engineer in Tenaris to tell him that the plan failed. And also, because we didn't keep to our end of the ransom, Dr. Weevil has <laughs> obliterated the Draconic for Dummies book. Quest complete. What? So now our only option is to track down the last known surviving copy of Draconic for Dummies, which, because it's the Scarab Lord questline, has actually had all eight of its pages torn out and scattered Isn't to the wind. Isn't that convenient? Once I find all eight chapters, I yeah. can use this book binding to refashion the book. This questline's never gonna end is it this is just <laughs> one quick stop off and get even at level 80 this took me like a month to do like i was playing casually i wasn't doing it like every day but like this took a really really long time even at level 80 it was insane i can't imagine going back and doing this now and to meet with this chef quest complete and to discuss the possibility of acquiring a fat chicken he tells me no such chicken exists but does clue us in on one lord lakmiran a chimera who with proper preparation may or may not look like a 500 pound chicken and whilst i'm here in tenaris i figure i may as well hand in the red shard to our good friend anachronos who once again rewards us with a completely useless piece of jewelry quest complete What was that tweet? Wait, what was that tweet? Found the elusive Barney today, but he was in a scarab ward rush and didn't try to sell me a lucky charm sad face. Oh shit. People are tracking him down. Chapter 7 acquired. Wow! Welcome. This is the hard Island. one. With the Blackwing Lair chapter safely obtained. Do y'all remember back in Classic WoW Beta, whenever I went in and I tried to fight this boss and we brought like 300 people and he killed every single one of us? This is the boss. And I was summoned to Alcaz Island to murder Dr. Weevil in cold Fuck blood. Him. After all, he's the reason this quest has been so long. I mean, True. because he has chapter one for some reason. Uh, two birds, one stone, if you ask me. However, Dr. Weevil is absolutely not a pushover. Even no. with a raid group he of 20, no he is still incredibly challenging due to his menacing mechanics and large health bar. Every and 6 mind or so seconds, Dr. Too. Weevil stuns everyone in line of sight of him, and every 20 or so seconds, he mind controls a random ally who will now be out of commission for the remainder of the encounter. Now and I they can have sit to be here CC'd and too. Old They gain a ton of extra health and everything. narrative about how this boss was difficult to overcome, but rest assured, this will be the 11th time we have destroyed Dr. Weevil and we have become exceedingly efficient at it. There Chapter it is. Acquired. Also, lore tidbit, this is the island where Varian Rin was kept. In prison. Yep, and down at the bottom. this quest is the only thing they did with this location <laughs> in the game. Hey, Bernie. I actually didn't mind that. I wish there were more things in the game that just existed for the sake of existing. And it doesn't have to be like a massive quest line or anything like that. There just has to be like a couple of things. You know, like that panda aisle that we went to yesterday on Lost Ark? That was so fucking good. Ranch, right? Yeah, I have.
Oh. Farming the Felgars? clothed rogue in the marsh at oh, the sunken temple. Oh, the Acranius one. Big, long quest. <laughs> I'm not doing this bit. Now, you might be wondering, why am I in a level 40 dungeon? Well, you see, the yep. green shard was given to a green dragon named Aranicus. And this is where Aranicus, Aranicus lives. Aranicus is a oh, wait, bitch. isn't this place, like, super evil? Well, yes. It's yes, no it secret is. that Aranicus and his crew were driven insane by the very same old god they thought they had vanquished deep within the temple. But he has the green shard, so I'm not really left any choice. But as I enter Aranicus' There's chamber, no way I'm not met with a shit. large green dragon, oh, but rather yeah. a shade and Malfurion storm rage. Malfurion informs me that Aranicus can't be here right now because he's busy terrorizing the Emerald Dream. And if we want to Dude, get that green I forgot shard, we'll all have to about summon this. Aranicus from the Emerald Dream and purge Holy him of his shit. corruption. Now, do you want to see some fucking sweaty? Disgusting! I can't believe you even bothered to think this far ahead gameplay. Check out these summons. Bam! Random Teldrassil location to hand in this quest to the Wisp. Quest wow. complete. But wait, I'm not done. Follow up summon to the Shrine of oh. Romulus in Moonglade to hand that very same quest in immediately. Bro, this is 100% this is this is actually proof that Barney is the main character of the server. Straight up. Like the actual main character of the server. It's that easy. Quest complete. Any percent world record. Yeah, by this the way. is. I know it might not look like much right to you there. guys because I mean you're watching the video, right? It's all cut up and edited for you. But yes. every time you see me get summoned, these are pre-planned summon teams that real people have had to level up and yes. put their character in that position. Those just are so real people that probably are not getting paid for fucking this. Gamers. Ga 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 Imagine fucking that. Game. So we're spread around Azeroth are these four emerald dream portals outside of which roam packs of elite green dragon kin. Except for the Duskwood one, but just forget about that one for now. To summon Aranicus back into our realm, we are going to need to obtain a nightmare fragment from each area. Actually, cut the music. Okay. Fuck the script. I need a talk. I need a real talk. These nightmare fragments drop from the elite mobs that you can find outside the portals, right? And you think, cool, just go kill some elites. <laughs> but those are really hard <laughs> to That's kill, laughing. yeah. And this is where I make the music creep back in, okay? Got him. No, of course it's not that easy. This is the Scarab Lord questline where every quest is specifically tailored to make you want to exit game. So here's the thing with this quest, right? We still to this day do not know the drop chance of the Nightmare Fragments. Me personally, I want to say it's 1%. Based on my experience, oh my I think God. it's 1%. Now, killing elites for a 1% drop is already fucking game. It's not that bad. Like, the way that you do it, see, this is the thing, is that the way you farm something like that that has a low drop chance is you do it one mob at a time. You never go and try to do like 10 mobs at a time, or you never try to think like how many it's going to take. You kill one at a time. One at a time. One, two, three at a time. The thing with these packs are, they actually require a small raid because they slap. Alliance players might not know this, but on the Horde side, you can kite them all kite the way. These yes. mobs from Ashenvale to Orgrimmar to just kill everyone in the city. But yep. wait, I'm still not done. The other thing with these mobs is that if you kill all the packs and you don't get the drop, you have to wait like an hour for the respawns. There are people Jesus in my guild Christ. that spent literally that days on just this part of the quest alone. What? It's not looking good. So this is me. And I'm in the Undercity, picking up Draconic for jump Dummies, Chapter 4. Just do it. Thanks for watching. Wow. Damn. Chapter 4 acquired. Well, well that's welcome. good. Come, 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 come to the Hinterlands. I grabbed literally anyone who was online and willing to help. And I feel like if you were able to get the Dr. Weevil one, I, I think Barney's going to get it. I think Barney's going to get Scarabord. I'm pretty confident about it. We yeah. may as well start here. And I think I'm going to let this clip of our first pull just play out. You, it's, okay. it's a clip where you're like, you say something like, I fucking hate this game. By the way, first mob, first fucking fragment. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> Well, that was lucky. Or a terrible omen. There's something with me getting really, really Holy lucky. Holy shit. And then immediately getting First really, mob. really unlucky. Oh boy. There I it sure is. hope that doesn't happen here. And even though we don't have uh, summons to Feralis, I can just edit the video. Like, wow, it's like I got summoned. Now, it's I wish crazy, I could tell right? you that I was lucky enough to get the drop on my first pull again. But yeah. it is with a shit-eating grin that I can tell you it only took 20 minutes for me to drop my second fragment. Got it. 20 minutes is still really fucking good. Like, unless it's taking you more than two hours to farm something, it's just casual shit. We're out of here. When I start Lost Ark, I'm going to do the Lost Ark. I'm going to watch one video about the Lost Ark shop, and then I'm going to watch, I'm going to start playing.
That's my plan. We're going to Ashendale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and now I'm actually uh, not Took days for some because this is just a far more. for sure just a terrible omen. Also, I forgot to mention, the reason I did the portals in this order was because currently right now in Ashenvale, there's an alliance person on this quest line too. I had oh, initially so wanted fighting to him. be diplomatic about the situation, but with only 24 hours left. <laughs> Look, you got you to gotta do what you got to do. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Fuck him. Fuck him. What a mistake. What a fucking mistake. Oh my god, what a mistake. They should not have done this. I, I guarantee this is gonna. Dude, it's legit AFK. Jeez. They could at least make it hard, like, at Damn. least make it fun. The Alliance had, as is customary around yeah. these parts, failed to put up any meaningful resistance. Oh, we took uh the leader off their group hostage and told those motherfuckers Ashenvale's closed. What the? No. That's some bullshit. I don't want to hear about it, guys. Miss me with that lying ass bullshit. Man, these guys really just took the fucking L, mm -hmm. huh? Like, they sure still did. Still in corpse? They got their ass beat. Yeah, it's pretty sad, dude. Mm hmm. It's been 45 minutes. As the Alliance lay molding in their corpses for, yes, like 45 minutes, we Jesus. took it upon ourselves to hit every single pack on respawn. But in yeah. fairness to the Alliance, they weren't the only ones molding. Just fucking, please, I, please dispel the root. Please it's fucking just, dispel the root, dude. It's so I bad. Need to tag it. Don't kill the thing. And you haven't tagged it's, it yet. It's and so you get dispelled. I'm it, rooted again. I need one dispel. Oh god, it's rooted so for bad. 40 oh, seconds. It's so bad. It was bad. It was so Thank bad. Thank you. Listen, I hadn't slept in a very long time. So if I sound like a raid leader, my apologies. The good news is, even with my lack of sleep, I was able to get clips like this. The guy in the back. Let's get this guy. I'm gonna distract. Oh, what an scared. idiot. Bro. That's that why I would always move with my mouse, <laughs> and I would move a little back and, and it forth. And with a huge ego, I get to tell you that the Alliance all left after that. Yeah, but of course. someone else showed outnumbered. Up. Wait. <laughs> Frywood. The same Frywood who had just last week griefed me relentlessly, Frywood? The same Frywood who had to be camped into submission, Frywood? Frywood redemption arc, Frywood? I was skeptical, but at 2 a.m. server time, I will take anyone I can get. This is where Frywood gets a little bit desperate, huh? Doom, which is basically the World of Warcraft equivalent of Russian roulette. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen this ability be used. Yeah, I don't think. Oh. Why me? Oh, Firewood's me? revenge. Well played, Frywood. Alas, the hand of fate would continue yep. to gesture towards me, the middle finger, as I found myself going dry on the Ashenvale fragment, hour after hour, pack after pack, respawn after respawn. Oh my god. Worst of all, word spreads fast, and when you hear that the last remaining Scarab Lord is now 12 hours deep, bottlenecked in Ashenvale, why, that's the perfect time yep. for a 40 man alliance raid to pull up and kill that. I told you that shit was a mistake. I told you it was a fucking mistake because people were going to send all of the guys over because they know that they can fuck your ass by doing that, man. A hundred fucking percent. Like, I, I, like, trust me, guys. Diplomacy is always the better option. Last little bit of hope you have left. They went to cry and know who they were yep. griefing. My busy bees are everywhere. You think just I wasn't going to find out? You. Yeah, we yep. got the fuck out of there just as the raid showed up. Nice try, bitch. <laughs> Next time, don't pick the one person who's always numbers steps ahead. Welcome to yeah. Molten Core. So the plan was always that if we got griefed at Ashenvale, we would just do make a beeline straight for Molten Core. Like, so what are they going to do? I think Ragnaros has and that one way, of the I pages. I try and get my goggles whilst the heat dies down. We have 12 hours left, right. by the way. Also, I just want to say something really quickly to the people that might be concerned about my health, like in real life. During the time in which we were in Ashenvale waiting for respawns, I would spend those like 45 minute intervals uh, sleeping at my desk. I wouldn't recommend it. So the engineers- I would do that. I used to do the same thing. I would lay down from like, I had, the, that was actually this, that chair right there, that shitty chair with only one arm on it. The, I, I, the arm fell off and I would lay down in a chair and take like mini naps in between wipes and Karazhan back in the day at like four in the morning. And I would leave my headphones on because we'd wipe a nether spider or something like that. And it would take everybody like 30 minutes to get back. So I could have like five mini naps.
XBFF dropped the goggles somewhere in yeah. here. And what that means for us as players is the goggles drop from trash and it's like a 10% drop chance. Go fuck yourself. But everything will be okay because I have my lucky charm. No, not this thing. I mean this guy. Accidentals. Let me tell you a little story about accidentals. So like two weeks ago, I'm doing this exact same trash farm for someone else's goggles. And we go like three full hours of just killing every single mob in Molten Core with no luck. I'm talking several resets of Molten Core. Like, like no bosses, just trash. Like, you don't even get to come. But as soon as we invite Axie, wow. And trust me when I tell you, I've got a good eye for, like, lucky things, right? That's, okay. like, my whole bit. So we start yeah, pulling trash at noon. And 25 minutes later... All right. Great. Problem I solved. I have to say, once finding. again... Say it. Hey, hey, this was my ID, Barney. I know. I Listen, I said you were going to be How my, about good that? Little, my little good luck charm. Now, could you it's bring just that, that easy, boys. Please? The goggles had been a piece of cake. Terrible oh, omen. So it was back to hitting our heads against the brick wall that is Ashenvale. We just had keep just farming. spent 12 uninterrupted hours there. But going forward, yeah, just I would farming. need to move around the map as if I'm being pursued by a large raid. Which, by the way, as I if. am. Word on the street yeah. is that they are waiting right now outside of this very molten core in preparation for us to reset the trash. So they'll never see it coming if I get summoned to Ashenvale to kill all the packs that have in the meantime respawned. Still no fragment, by the way. And then fly to oh Winter my Spring. God. Why Winter Spring, you ask? Because your bitch want to spring on this dick. Because I can kill <laughs> demons in Winter Spring to try and get chapter 3. Oh, yeah. But you the real reason I'm doing this is I want to bait the Alliance raid away from Ashenvale so that when respawns are back up, I can just, just get summoned, get summoned right them. back over. And once yeah. again, just as the Alliance were pulling up on my location... This game of cat and mouse had oh grown so God. fun for me that I wasn't even bothered by the fact oh we went another God, entire so cycle ridiculous. with no drop. Nine hours remain, and here's I where I execute this. my most dastardly bamboozle yet. I went straight back What's to Winter that? Spring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chapter Wow! So I took a summon right back you to are so close. despite the fact that there were no spawns, oh, uh, just to fuck with the alliance really. But as soon as that first pack did you respawn, so fucking close. I'm gonna get square next. I got the fragment. Let's fucking go, guys! Let's do it! Let's sorry. Oh, wow, that hurt my ears. I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to scream. There you go. Eight hours remain. Ashenvale had stolen 15 hours from me, but no I, more. As I said, it's not eight hours. It's more than that because you have extra time. You have extra time to go in and, uh, and after the first person hits it. You have eight more oh, hours. My green dragon farm had come to an end, and I was ready to get that fat chicken. Yep. With the alliance closing in on our position, we did something no horde player would ever do. Portal to Thunderbluff. Genius mix that up. Is, this yeah, also let me take some meat out of Why the bank that I prepared that? earlier. Like, literally a year ago. I need 20 total for the quest, but I'll get three later. A few of us were then summoned to the Isle of Dread uh -huh. in Feralis to kill the unique Chimera elite, oh, Lord yeah. Lakmiran. And it is now later. Yeah. See how efficient I am? Yeah, I like the that. corpse of Lord Lakmiran <sighs> and the rest it? of the meat that I needed in one kill. Are the you like not lightning shield. I've been him. planning yeah. this for years. Also, the Holy alliance raid fuck. saw that we were in Feralis and pulled up thinking we were at the uh, green dragons. But they weren't. <laughs> no one's there. Hell. By the time they figured out what we do it, hell. <laughs> what we were doing, it was already too late. We had half to Kargath fuck and started making the journey south to the Tainted Scar. It is here These that I would get chapter really two hard on to kill. the. And I, I know it seems like I'm, I'm, I've like scripted this, but I got chapter two on the first pull. <laughs> Guys. Chapter 2 acquired. Next up, the Duskwood Nightmare Oh my fragment. god. To conquer the challenge that lay before me, I would need to this time gather a Which full one was raid. This? Because unlike the other Nightmare Fragments, this last fragment is dropped by a unique boss that can only be summoned oh, by this quest. Man. However, I can't just be standing around Bro, and I remember that guy used to, he used to do like a mind control or something like that. I had my mom off heal me whenever I did that boss. Like, she was healing me, like, way off in the distance, and then she would move out of range of the mind control to top me off, and then, then run away. Dude, oh my god, that's so crazy. It's like, that was literally, like, fucking, what was that, 12, 13 years ago? Wow. Squid giving away our position, summoning God, people dude, as we invite such them, good because days. this boss we're about to fight is incredibly griefable. Much like a world boss, if you die to the Twilight Corruptor, he grows in size and strength, and because this boss actually hits hard, one death is all it can take for the encounter to quickly spiral out of control. Holy if shit. the Alliance show up here in Duskwood, it is absolutely GG no re for my Scarab Lord, because they will be able to just endlessly sacrifice themselves to the boss to ensure we can never kill him. Oh, now no. more than ever, I need to be stealthy. Now more than ever, I need to be unpredictable. Now more than ever, I need to be a rogue. Ow. Okay. <laughs>
and God. I fucking love being a rogue. Because you already know I figured out exactly what we're gonna do. World buff alert. Is putting a fake world buff notice in the world buff Discord immoral? I'll let you decide. But I no. did what needed to be done because if the Alliance, who are definitely stalking this Discord, see no, that we are not. dropping a heart, they will probably assume Not that we good. are about to go raiding. And because I still do actually need to kill Anixia and Ragnaros on this quest line, it's the perfect plan. They think we're meeting up here to get a buff and then fly to Molten Core, but actually we're just gonna walk into Duskwood. I'm a genius. See? This is where you the find The subterfuge of this and just like all of the mind games make it so much better. Holy now, shit. If, uh, Shaman love you or not. Yeah, it's just, it's so sweaty <laughs> yeah, for no reason. 10 minutes to buff everyone with the same shit. It's so good. What we say? Oh, they didn't even get a buff. That sucks. We had broken into Duskwood, and the Alliance slash hooing me would know exactly what we were getting up to. And yep. with Duskwood being so close to Stormwind, we had just shy of 10 minutes to kill this boss and get out. Or it's done for. And I know that it might look like I'm just standing still here, but the boss starts spawning the moment I walk into the next subzone. So here, I'm waiting for my raid to get in position, because oh. trust me, I've done this boss 10 times now. So outside of the getting larger mechanic, which I He also does earlier, the mind this control. This boss basically does two things. The first move, which he spams. I think so, right? Way and applies a dot that cannot be dispelled. And the second move is just a mind control. Yes! Yeah, just throw in a mind control. If you haven't already been able to tell yet, the main way we deal with this boss is to pull him back to this pillar, which lets the caster's line of sight, and the tanks don't have to worry about getting knocked away. That's why I remember I, I had to solo the boss at level 80, is because if I did it with a group, people would get MC'd, and they would kill me. It's a problem for the melee. And yeah, I'd like to say we struggled with this boss, but again, Not this really. is the 11th time I've killed this thing. Anything short of a perfect pull would just be embarrassing. This boss has also less health This is how drag. people talk about classic WoW, like you don't just stand and hit. Yeah. That's all. Only four minutes had passed since we first entered That's Duskwood, it. but that was all the time we needed to get there the fragment is. and get out. The Alliance raid had been thwarted once more, but I made no efforts to disguise our next move. In fact, of all the places we could have gone next, I picked the most obvious because I'm disrespectful like that. Welcome to Moonglade. Buy my merch. With all four nightmare fragments right. gathered, quest complete, it oh, was time to the summon a from the Emerald Dream and purge yeah. him of his corruption once and for all. As we walk up to town alongside Remulus, I'm oh, going to shit. take this time to go over the Aranicus encounter using footage I got during other people's quest lines, because, you know, I've done this. 10 times already. So this fight has two phases. In phase one, shades continually spawn oh and run God. at literally whoever, doing tons I think you of get damage fear and AoE shadow bolts. One too. Oh, and they can also AoE fear. Our strat is to hide inside this building out of line of sight so they're more likely to target the town guard. Oh so you can God. DPS them down in more manageable numbers. Oh, and yeah, you occasionally get like a big dude. So that's phase one. If you haven't wiped to shades after a ran- Dude, this is- I can't believe they added all of this into the game. And it was only for the opening of the gates. This is this was just such a cool thing, man. The amount of time each pull. Phase two begins. Well, the shades disappear, disappear okay, and Dramatus descends you know, from I'll the watch sky. And here it is my pleasure to get to show you this World of Warcraft classic exclusive dragon fight. Wow. Where you stand and hit. And hit. Oh, there it is. Come up with Around 20% health, a roleplay will easy. begin. And during this, you can actually kill Aranicus if you really want to. But you're yeah. meant to wait so that he turns green and the quest completes. So, you know, like if you were well, an enemy him. raid looking to grief, you would maybe want to kill the dragon. Yeah. So that's the encounter we're about to start. After a short roleplay where the bad guy, you know, says the line, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you all. And then we're like, yeah, no, course. Aranicus, we're gonna purge you of your corruption, bitch. Combat begins. <laughs> Okay, everybody just gets behind there. It seems easy enough. Yeah, this was always okay, an easy boss. Here, Barney, and don't this is never a struggle Barney. at all. Yeah. Now, because we were pretty sure if I die, the quest fails, it was in my best interest that, for as long as possible, I should sit in the corner and do nothing. E, e, said the Alliance Spire from behind us. By the way, this is a neutral zone, so if any PvP breaks out, the Town Guards will swiftly Yeah, they just attack everybody. But I, I don't do I thought sit the Town Guards here weren't that powerful. RNG in Phase 1 was I don't good, remember. And everything was going pretty good. Until it didn't. Yeah, it's about right. 
this was a certified not good moment. I would now have to walk back down to Remulus, restart the escort, and try again. And yes. we really didn't have this time to spare. As I started the RP for a second time, the Alliance dogs began to summon their raid of griefers right in front of oh. me, taunting me. And they thought they were oh. so smart too. Oh look, you can't attack us. Well guess what? If you're showing up to grief an encounter where part of the encounter is that shades will run to the closest person within line of sight, you probably Sounds don't want to summon your fucking team of morons where the shades spawn. You were so close to catching me too. Off screen, the Alliance oh, summoners no. die molding as they are the ravaged stupid by fucking shades. Alliance. This buys us time to get into yeah, a favorable position from which we are able to secure a smooth phase one. So really, I should be thanking the Alliance. Like really, I cannot understate just how useful it was to have like six or seven bozos just die outside. <laughs> After a few minutes of killing shades, Aranicus descends yeah. and we get to experience some hidden content gameplay. Wow. I have never seen anything like this before. Let's do it, boys. Just keep killing them. Same. On that note, uh, <laughs> we need to move to Anixia. As my team started heading towards Anixia's oh, lair, I fuck, walked back dude, to I Remulus forgot to all about that. Quest. quest complete. Wow! Green shard acquired! Thunder bluff portal for the Barney's gonna be able to do I it. didn't see coming. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, I'm telling you guys, like, there's no shot that Barney doesn't do it. There's no shot. Like, this is the easiest, like, this is... Every hard challenge has already been beaten. Nixia's lair. Remind yourself though, raids reset in literally a few hours. Finding yep. people not yet locked to a Nixia was proving to be difficult. What? And it seemed getting a full 40-man like raid anyway. together Doesn't for this matter. particular fight was going to be out of the question. 23 was the number of valiant Good heroes enough. that would journey with me totally into the dragon's fine. lair. A departure from the recommended 40 to be certain. More but than this enough. This fight is a marathon, not a sprint. If we all play like the smart genius gamers I know we are, this should be a piece of cake. Okay, listen the fuck you. up. Okay. I'm gonna DPS very, very slowly. Now, and by slowly, oh I mean God. fucking slowly. Okay. You get aggro, it means you're gonna lose 50 DKP. Okay, you know dude. Do. And watch the DKP. fucking tail. Six hours left. It's so easy, and is the easiest boss in the game. You know what I like about Classic? It doesn't matter how long you've played the game, what gear you have, or what bosses you have on farm. All it takes is for one greedy button press into a taunt resist, and now the mage has aggro. Good luck oh, fixing God. it, and watch the fucking tail. Oh, oh my oh, God. It no way, they're gonna... Many whelps! Left side, oh my handle it. God, what are I've always they doing? wanted to say that. So we handle the whelps and then slowly take Anixia through phase what one. What are they where doing? You... Hey, the Once she dips below 60% it's health, so she easy. transitions into phase two, where she flies up into the air and starts launching fireballs at people. Of During course. this phase, only the ranged can hit her, and given that we only have seven ranged and she stays up there till 40%, Sounds it's like going to be a time. very long air phase. Also, Breath, I feel like I'm missing three people something. die. Think... Wait, if she stays up in the air, doesn't she start like covering the ground? Ah! I knew I was forgetting something. And it wasn't just me. Some of us were so used yeah. to this bus being dead already that we completely forgot she actually has mechanics and a moveset. What a walk I never learned how to do the Anixia breath. Because I always played tank, and I had so much health, I would just get healed. It wouldn't kill me. It's one of those funny Problem games solved. where the better you become at the game, the worse you actually become at the game. And yes. if that doesn't make sense to you, it's because you're bad. But that's a good thing, I promise. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is truly bliss. Do you think my WoW logs make me happy? Do you think raiding <laughs> makes me happy? I hope Listen not. Up. There is no joy to be had from mastering World of Warcraft, okay? There is only pain. Nevertheless, we pushed through the longest phase two of my entire life. Six people had perished, leaving only 17 that's of fine. us to finish phase that's three. Fine. And actually, Withers has aggro, so uh, let's make that Oh, the mage has aggro, phase that's three great. Has a fear by the way. And watch the fucking tail. But as I said Ooh. earlier, this fight is a marathon, not a sprint. And even with no world buffs, even with 10 people it dead, doesn't and matter. even when I rip aggro it, at the last second it intentionally does not matter. and try to turn the boss to tail swipe the raid, <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, what's the fucking tail? <laughs> this fight was Oh my god. Deep. Got him. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking got him. And there's the chapter uh, chapter right there. Take that, Alrighty. Chapter 6 acquired. Two bags? It's as they say, scuffed equals stuff. Which is why I find it no surprise K-Bay rolled a 100. That's After a good all, roll. Is there anything more scuffed than... Two Bobby bags? Be weird to my benediction. I dished out the loot and then it was off to Tenaris to cash in on some dopamine points. I gave okay. the goblin my meat, quest complete, Easy. and then he says he needs some salt and rocket fuel, I which I already this. have. Quest complete. He then gives us a fat chicken, which we hand in to the engineer right. immediately. Quest complete. And we also hand in the goggles from Molten Core. Right. Quest complete. Speaking of Molten Core, Ragnaros this, this has a turban. draconic for dummies chapter I need, and it is nearly seven server time. The Winter Court had once again agreed it's to let fine. me reach their raid because I'm just such a nice person, uh, but really because I have like really good luck. I'm actually insufferable. 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> Man, look at all this great Ooh, big striker. Yeah. I understand why Final Boss recruited Barnaby at this point. Why? Because you bring the loot. I have a double gut goal <laughs> rip Lay, yeah, lay see, it's a curse. You don't get shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh. get the money. <laughs> now, I'm not going to try and conjure content where there is none to be found, okay. because the truth is, this entire Molten Core was just an incredibly standard ordeal. Outside of the loot being really good, there really is wow. nothing to talk about, because, you know, it's Molten. Do you guys remember whenever uh, I did that run on my Warlock, who was level 51 for Molten Core, and the Talisman of Ephemeral Power dropped, and I looted it to my level 51 Warlock over all of the other mages and warlocks in the raid. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> and, and then I got the Mage Blade too. And the Mage Blade dropped and I looted it to a level 51 warlock to myself. And then I finally got the character uh, leveled all the way to 60 and then I never played it again. I cool. put on all yeah, the gear and I never played it again. Now, <laughs> problem uh, solved. Like combat, so I can ninja petition. Those were the good days, guys. Oh yeah, actually, none of our rogues need it. You're welcome. I'm gonna take okay. petitions and those leave were the good days. The dummies. That's actually all I came for. And fuck your quest and just say fuck it. <laughs> it was all a ruse okay. to get rid of okay. the Google Ripper. <laughs> they got from the very Listen, start. Funny joke, right? <laughs> Bar <laughs> Barney actually has over 12 hours left. Over 12 hours. There's no way this isn't gonna happen. Actions actually drops though. No Someone's way. Someone's up there taunting me. You think 100 this is so it's fun, gonna happen. You? Chapter eight acquired. It's all um, all right. All right. One Locked more. away deep within the Stormwind Library sits chapter it's five so of Draconic easy. for Just Dummies, the it. final chapter. I need to finish my Just tome. go get but it. But at peak server hours, with an alliance raid following your every move, one Just does go not get simply it. stealth into Stormwind. And also, if I'm being honest, I've never even been there before. Like I, I wouldn't even know where to go. But I do know someone that does. Meet Eddie. And where do I even begin with it? What? Even begin with Eddie, huh? There so the go. thing with Eddie is, he doesn't really understand and that he's not human anymore. Arthur's kind of like- That was so weird. Why? Why this is guy, this happening? This uh, guy marinate in the ground a little too long before raising him, and so okay. with only, like, half a brain, he doesn't really get it. He the quality really will get improve in a minute. Thing. But that's okay, because he's Don't harmless worry about it. and adorable. Look at this little guy. Long ago, the Horde and the Alliance of Grobulus came to an agreement that mm -hmm. Eddie would be free to live and fish in Stormwind unbothered, since can we please just let something yeah, pure exist true for once? So who okay. better to escort me through Stormwind than the one undead no Alliance yeah. wants to kill? The one undead who has True diplomatic immunity. Okay, roleplay server, don't fail me now. Okay. Library. I announced in human as I walked across the bridge into Stormwind City. Where is the library? Oh my god, what are you doing, Barney? Too. It was here that Eddie shows me a neat Stormwind trick. If you wave to the guards, they are legally obligated to stop pursuing you and wave back. By what spamming a wave macro, you can effectively stun lock guards until you leave their aggro radius. This doesn't work on patrollers, though, so keep that in mind as we approach. I wonder who the first person who figured that out was. You know what I mean? Like, I really do. That's so fucking funny. Wow. The city entrance, we had gathered quite the crowd, but stealth was never an option, so we just have to hope for the best here. Where is the library? Eddie asked again as he was approached by a swarm of guards that not even the greatest Osu legend would be able to wave macro into submission. I barely had enough time to utter library before we were both doing? forced to take a quick nap. So rude. Just fly know, in. Right? I'm just trying to acquire knowledge. Two perfectly normal just humans fly. having a stroll through Stormwind. Take two. We come back. Bearing no ill will. Asserted Eddie as we woke back up in Stormwind. Oh my god, real Janie? Library? We only seek your knowledge. Library? Where is the library? Library? I was then assassinated by an off screen menace for being annoying. Barney's I Barney. No! At least they left Eddie alive. And he's the main character oh in all my this. God, it's Barney's his Stormwind. Throwing. We're just stealthing through it. Speaking oh of, I god. somehow managed to stealth through the trade district and reconvene with Eddie in the canals. Oh my god. Hello. Library? Could you leave? Ladies, guide us to the library. Library? Library. Oh my god, they understand. Yes. Eddie proclaimed. Where is it? Mordrina beckons this us over it. and it's starts over. leading us somewhere. Are these night elves bothering you fine humans? I said no yes. as Eddie responded. They seem nice. Wish I could say the same for the racist guards. <laughs> I said to Eddie as we waited in the canals oh, for the, the heat to die down. You know I've drowned people in here. That never happened. It did. I just can't be bothered to find the footage right now. Library, here we 
calm. Going into this, it's I didn't know what I to expect, but if you told me that I would have a considerable alliance entourage escorting me to the library, I would have said, yeah, right, at what point do they slit my throat? But here we are, just taking a nice leisurely stroll through the I don't believe it. I, I do not believe this. Like, I, there's no way Barney gets in, gets the thing, and leaves. There's no way. Somebody is gonna, somebody is gonna fuck it up. A few minutes later, uh -uh. we arrived at the I, I where I was it. met with multiple guards and some fucking dweeb named Brungus. <laughs> fucking Brungus. And Brung- Fuck it, I do it. Brungus, man. Brungus is holding down the fort. Brungus is keeping up the spirit uh, of the Alliance. Okay, he's not gonna- he's not into that cross-faction collusion bullshit. He's out there to really fight and go to war. Just cut me down just before I managed to collect the chapter two. The bastard. But he wasn't gonna get me a second time. I revived, popped a limited invulnerability potion, and enjoyed my five seconds of invulnerability as I collected the final chapter oh of Draconic for Dummies. And you okay. cannot kill me in a way that matters now, Brungus. You it's fucking over, Brungus. Brungle bitch. All chapters acquired. You got and it! And so ended the first of many adventures with Eddie. The latter I'm sure you will never see because I'm already over my one video per year quota. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that though? That chill in the air? Something's not right. As I flew to Tenaris, I couldn't help but sense an unsettling aura on the wind. I had just literally walked into Stormwind and obtained the final chapter with barely any resistance. Where was the raid of griefers? They didn't even show up. Oh, Maybe they'll no. jump me at the engineer, I thought, as I pulled up to finally hand in a completed oh, Draconic no. for Dummies. Quest complete. Are there was nearly an airlines to be seen. This is the part of the quest line where the engineer informs us that he is 99% certain he can create oh, the God. Arcanite Bubba Buoy if he gets a few more items. <laughs> but don't worry, these are all items I prepared earlier. In yeah, fact, yeah. this exact quest is why for months, yeah. even before had that already. bug farming, I was deep in the hives of Silithus farming rich thorium There lanes. you go. And I didn't care who I had to step on to get to Lame, them. Bro. Something was gonna stop me from getting Thanks, scarab, bro. it sure as fuck wasn't gonna be RNG gems from mining nodes. Quest complete. And finally, I obtained my Arcanite Baba Bowie. With one last boss to go, and the Alliance Griefers nowhere to be seen, I took my summon to Azshara with a great big smile. That mount is so close I can oh, taste yeah, it. Moss. And then I looked to my left. I forgot about this part. Oh no! Holy shit! <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh! Oh no! Oh, no. In the final hours! It's a battle in the water! The underwater combat. <laughs> the best Jesus way to Christ! They'll win, they'll win. Summon the boss now. Go. Well, they're dead. Stupid. Get their insignia. What the fuck were they thinking? The alliance, as is customary and around these parts, had completely failed to put a dent in our magnificent horde war machine. I remember he I was bigger the back Arcanite in the day. Baba Buoy and some nah, of he was the fish bigger. swallowed the blue scepter. They made him smaller and classic. Right wow. on time, the healers was fell way asleep. That dude, just like Kazik, oh, exactly, just like Kazan. He's gonna eat me! Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. No way no. you're gonna wipe on this 10K. boss. 10K. No oh, way. Oh, it's it's him, impossible. Him, it's him, impossible. Him, it's impossible. Him, Nobody can wipe on this boss. Fuck him up! Fuck it up! Hey! Get him! There it is. Holy Barney! Get a combat res on Barney. Combat res on Barney B. That yeah, can was... we get a combat res on Bonnie B, guys? <laughs> wow! Blue shot acquired! There it is! Barney, go to Anachronos now before he gets fucking griefed. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, thanks for that pearl of wisdom. Like, where else was I gonna go? Because oh now god. that I had collected all three scepter shards, Talk it was him. time to pay Anachronos one final visit. I handed in the green shard. Quest Do it complete. faster. I handed in the blue shard. Do it, Quest come complete. on, please. I am the might of Kalimdor. Quest yes. complete. With a scepter yes. of the shifting sand. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, but wait, doesn't that mean you get the mount? We're getting to that. We're getting to that. Just hold on, okay? No. The story's not over. The perceptive oh. among you will have noticed that there are <laughs> Bro, still- Bro, like, this is the worst thing, is whenever the good ending happens, and you look at the length of the movie, and you see it's not over. <laughs> A few quests to go. These take oh, place in Silithus no. and unlock at midnight after a brief server restart. This is the countdown that I've been referencing the whole video. And so, with 30 minutes to spare, I made it to the Scarab Gong, sipped my petrification potion to prevent getting griefed when I logged back in, and logged off. Smart.
five hours later. Hello? Okay. Who rang it? <laughs> Nobody's rang it. No one. Ring there it. is no capacity. Nobody can it's ring it. The entire area is like Just ring it. So what? yeah, the servers were so laggy in Silithus. <laughs> so I'm watching the footage and it's so... <laughs> what else was gonna happen? What? Oh, I have to laugh. Uh, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. At the mercy of the Blizzard servers, we stood before the gong for hours on end, with the monotony only broken up by the occasional reveal that, hey, you've actually been dead this whole time. <laughs> and then, as I waited beyond death's wispy veil no! for a res that I definitely clicked like five minutes ago... No! No! Fuzi of Final Boss had rung the gong. It was Fuzi! Oh, Fuzi! If you didn't expect this to happen, I don't know what world you're living in. Finally, we get the fuck out of this place. But if you think that means things are gonna start just getting any less laggier, you are wrong. We are literally just getting started, actually, oh because now the war event begins. But let's just do this bit first because I don't want to end on an anticlimax and we need to get to this part at some point. So oh God. And this is the part of the video that like I just have really not wanted to do, and I really don't don't even want to fucking record it to be honest if i sound no salty way. it is what it is um so this is the part no where, fucking way uh, as you can tell my no fucking story way comes to an end no and i don't believe like, it no I lying when i no. said i didn't just no. spend the last 18 or so no weeks way in my no bank. And it's so lame to blame someone else like when you fuck up right but like it's 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 because of no. it's fucking stupid ass laggy ass Oh, come on, you thought that was how it was gonna end? Do you guys not know me at all? What did I say? You're already in my web. You just don't know it yet. I can do anything I put my mind to because my mind would not put me to do things I can't. And because of this, I'm a Scarab Lord quest complete. And I kept it secret this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You wanna know how I did it? You wanna know how I streamed every day without you guys ever seeing the yes! fucking mount? It really wasn't in my bank. Because I deleted, deleted it. <laughs> and then I've just been like uh, restoring it every six weeks using item restoration. But yeah, uh, get own. Oh, I can see it now. Yes, oh my I God. did get Scarab Lord. Yes, I do have the mount. Oh I'm my swag God. as hell. And I kept it secret from all of you this whole time. But now if I may, I'd what? like to say a few words. You see, I did this entire oh. questline 11 times. <laughs> so I'm kind of like a Scarab Lord 11 yes. times over when you really think about it. 11 full Scarab yes. Lord questlines. I was there. For all of them. If we weren't doing a quest, I was in Silithus farming. Except for the peaceful DKP. And that's not even mentioning the wipes and the failed attempts that we had on some of these quests. So let's just get one thing straight. Oh I'm not just God. a Scarab Lord. I'm the Scarab Lord. No one suffered more than me on this quest line. Oh, you think you did? I've spent every day for the past 18 months looking at footage of Silithus. Oh, looking at footage shit. of this quest line. Did you? No. So it is only appropriate that I use my unique position as both a record-holding player and deranged content creator to make the following ask. Fair. Blizzard, you gotta make the fucking mount fly, man. Please, Blizzard, please, 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 please. <laughs> the people who would be against this are people who are butthurt that they didn't get the mount. And like, fuck those people. Do it. I have the mount. <laughs> I wanted to fly. Wrath of Lich King Lord is my favorite, favorite expansion. Holy and oh, oh, we know you're gonna do Wrath of Lich King Classic. So please let me fly on my Scarab Lord mount in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Oh I would God. I would be so happy. In conclusion, please. Okay, enough begging. It's time to move store. on to the next part of the quest. Well, you thought that we were done just because I got the mount? Yeah, me too. But no, it turns out there is one more quest left. However, it's not available for completion until after the 10 hour war. What's the 10 hour war, you ask? Well, whilst I do believe that it is far too late in the video now to start doing more exposition, now that the gates of Ankaraj are oh open, God. the horrors locked away 1000 years ago have once again been set loose on Silithus and the world of Warcraft. All around the map, resonating crystals will emerge from the terrain, bringing Karaji invasions with them. If you push back enough ads, eventually a unique mob will spawn who, when killed, can drop incredibly rare bind on equip gear, yep. like Tibu's Blazing Longsword or yep. Alcor's Sunraiser. But not oh, just that. this. Three Colossi will also spawn in Silithus, yep. one per hive. And they are fucking huge, by the way. The biggest creatures in the game by far. And fighting these titans is no joke either, because every so often they do this. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. 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 Open your map. Open your map. What? The... Yup. So God, this event is so cool. They bring this back every year in retail. Wow, now. God damn. Forgot you wow, the car. that's so badass. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, John, there it goes, there it goes. Wait. <gasps> On the mount, too. There it goes. See, look, look, there it goes, everything. <laughs> Ooh. 
Did you record that? That is so yeah, fucking nice. funny, man. <laughs> Oh my god. And then, ten hours later, it was time to finish the quest line. Here I took is. a summon from inside Anchorage, or rather inside a wall inside Anchorage, don't worry about it, and slowly stealthed my way through the first Alliance blockade, risking full Smart. world buffs moments before I was due to raid AQ40. I perfectly, literally frame perfectly to the point where my GTFO add-on detected I got hit, slipped out through the gates of Anchorage. One last time, I climbed that all-too-familiar staircase of dream to gates of Bro, that warrior perfectly saw him. to the point where my GTFO well, add-on detected him? I got See it? He got fuck he he fucking saw him right there. Right there he saw him. I hit slipped out through the gates of Anchorage. One last time I climbed that all too familiar staircase of dreams to receive my final reward. A dagger upgrade. <laughs> Beekeeper's log. Uh 22nd of August. So now that oh the God. event is all finished, there's um, a bunch of new quests in Silithus that let you grind reputation with the Cenarian Circle. And I don't really yeah. know what we're doing. All I know is I need to get exalted because there's some item I need. So we're going to meet First up with them. First strike. Talk to this guy. You're like, hey, papers, give me it. Oh, like, okay. Signed. Yeah. And, and then you oh ring back. Yeah, yeah. From what's, com here. what's combat assignment? What a fucking adventure. What, what's what? I'm so this is for Earth Strike. What I see. an so let's do absolute combat. fucking oh. adventure. As, uh, oh, there's like four of these things in there. Holy shit. Yeah, it's four. Each each quest is to kill 30 of a certain I... kind of bug. Uh, wait, we gotta kill. Wait, we have to kill more bugs? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god. I think this might be one of the best wild I think this might be the greatest wild series ever made. I really do. I think this could legitimately be the greatest wild series ever made. Jesus Christ. Subscribe right subscribe, now. Subscribe. Subscribe. Please watch my stream. <laughs> Patreon. 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 Like the video. Oh my god. You better buy the doll. I know. Wow. That it's it's just oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I straight up, I did not know if if Barney was gonna get the mount or not. Like I thought it was gonna happen. I really did, but Fuck. There is a video. Guys, this is probably the greatest WoW series I've maybe ever seen. This could very well be the greatest WoW series I've ever seen. And I just... It's so fucking good. I saw Barney on his mount like a week before it. Uh, she posted the first video. See, like, I had no idea. And, like, I didn't want to look ahead or anything like that. I wanted it to just be... Because, like, I could see it not happening, too, right? You could just get griefed a lot. Like, that happened to, like, one guy on, like, another EU server or something like that. Uh, but, like, I just, I wanted to just see it fucking happen. Because, like, with all those alliance grouping around, I thought that's what it was going to be, man. And uh, you can see the mountain on the first stream. I did not fucking see it. There is the video right there, guys. Listen, if anybody deserves a sub, it is certainly fucking Barney. Oh, my God. Give it some support. Give Give Barney some subs. Holy fucking shit. Uh, Barney did not disappoint. What a masterpiece. The Ape Escape music was cool too. What a storyline. It's like a movie, but it's based on real events. Oh my god. Oh my god. One million? Barney will hit one million subs this year, 100%. Like, I mean, they're, they're 40 subs away. I mean, that's definitely going to happen. Basically, all the videos were all PvP. It was, yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, as I said, it can be good, but it's just not always good. This is the exception and not the rule. But the exception is certainly a great story, isn't it? Holy fuck. Like, I feel like this is just... This is, like, this is the video. You know what I mean? Like, this is the fucking video. This is the one... Like, it is just so amazing. I, I love it. I, I fucking love this video. I cannot express so much... Oh my god. It was so fucking amazing. Wow. Barney is in chat. At Barney, yeah. I... I I just... It, it is amazing. Like, it was an amazing video. It was worth the wait. It was absolutely 100%. 100%.
worth the wait. I am astounded. And congratulations on your mount, by the way. You did what I could not. <laughs>